This is all going to plan. We rob Rockstar community. And we leave. <laughs> the poetry of it all. Every time when it looks like Rockstar did something good and I start to think that maybe they've changed, it turned out that no, they didn't. They are still the same and maybe even more greedy. Like for example this time, few weeks ago they made some changes to GTA Plus subscription service. They added Red Dead Redemption 1 and Red Dead Undead Nightmare for free to the subscription and I even said that now it's a good choice. If you never played Red Dead Redemption 1, it makes sense now to purchase purchase this GTA Plus subscription for $6, complete Red Dead Redemption 1 and Undead Nightmare and just cancel the subscription. Then they promised to improve GTA Plus even more, because in uh, Newswire they said that later they will add LA, Noir and Bully to GTA Plus subscription as well. So it looked like something good from Rockstar, but you know what, today they increased the price for GTA Plus subscription to $8 per month. You see, now it's $7.99 per month and it used to be $5.99. It's now only on Xbox, as you can see on PlayStation, the price is still the same. And some people even say that maybe it's some sort of a mistake, some sort of a typo, but it's really unlikely because it's not like some person is sitting and just updating the price for the game manually and can make a mistake. No, you cannot change the price for the game in a Microsoft store as a mistake. So yeah, I'm pretty sure that it's just a matter of time and GTA Plus will cost on PlayStation $8 pretty soon as well. And it's actually really bad news for all players, even for players who don't play GTA Online at all and don't care about all these bonuses and uh, who don't want to play Red Dead Redemption 1, LA Noir or Bully, it's still a bad news because of GTA 6. So let me explain. Rockstar are getting ready to milk GTA 6 as much as possible and one of the ways will be this subscription. I mean, let's be honest, not too many people are buying this nowadays because as I've said, value of this subscription is not that high even considering all these games. So Rockstar's plan obviously is to force the subscription as much as possible when GTA 6 will be released. But how? I don't know, there are many different ways. For example, to do something that Ubisoft did with recent Star Wars Outfits edition. It's actually Outlaws editions, but I mispronounced it. Maybe because, you know, they are gonna be selling outfits for real life money in a single player game. But anyway, there are different editions and pricing might be interesting, but they offer this game for free with Ubisoft Plus, and it's one of the ways how they will try to push this Ubisoft Plus subscription to their players. I don't think that Rockstar is gonna be giving GTA 6 for free even with GTA Plus subscription, but there are multiple other bonuses they can include. Different cosmetics, early access, maybe even some in-game content like new missions, some additional heists, something like this. And considering how popular GTA 6 already is, we might expect another price increase for this GTA Plus subscription, because people will buy it anyway when GTA 6 will be hyping, when it will be released. So I don't know, it's another example of how greedy Rockstar now Ah, because yes, they did something good, they added a free game, but used it simply as an excuse to increase prices. I mean, it's not gonna be worth it even if Rockstar will decide to add Red Dead Online standalone to this subscription. I mean, actually some players might buy it if they will add not only Red Dead Online standalone and some bonuses and discounts, but also some limited clothing, like all the outlaw passes for example, and maybe that's the reason why they removed them from the game, they are planning to bring them back as a part of a subscription service. But still, in my opinion, it's not gonna be a good deal and it's still gonna be greedy. But I can see some new Red Dead Online players buying it in this case. I don't know, let me know in the comments, would you buy it if it will happen, if they will bring back Outlaw Passes, all the Outlaw Passes as one of the bonuses for GTA Plus. And meanwhile, if you are a new player, if you are a beginner, I suggest you to go and check this video video guide about how to level up really fast in, in Red Dead Online. With that being said, I hope you enjoyed this video. Stay safe, stay healthy, goodbye.